thought we'd take you somewhere different today, not ancient ruins. swimming weather he's put a big thick jacket on <laughs> <laughs> wow isn't that amazing I'm Barry I'm Anne this is the continuing journey of Sailing ABC. In 300 meters, keep right. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, little farming town. Yeah. It's got everything, isn't it? Looks so, yeah. Keep right, so I guess she means turn right? Uh, yeah. It's all very guessworky. Yeah. See, we took a detour to get fuel. Yeah, this is the right road. Okay. <clears throat> no, no, it's not the right road. No, it's not the right road. Right, so. <laughs> Keep right. What's Keep that right, mean? she says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. Look, she's taking this. All oh, right, okay. <clears throat> so we're going to take a left. Yeah, we're point. taking a left. So you're getting to see a lot of the little local farming town. Look at that old building. So I'm taking a left. You're taking a left. Here, with that yeah, car. Like a hand left. Hand right. pin left. Okay. I said that we've taken a detour to get fuel because we need fuel. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Because where we're going is Lake Salda and it's. It's just over 250 kilometres north inland from Finike. Yes, about three hours. So we thought we'd take you somewhere different today, not ancient ruins, but it's apparently a beautiful turquoise lake surrounded by white sand. So uh, isn't it, it, um, it? It's a meteor impact crater. Lake? Crater, yeah, yep. it is, yeah. So and in also, 700 metres, turn left. Okay, Mrs. Um, also, they call it the Maldives of Turkey. Yeah, so it's a bit exciting. Yeah. It? And with it being spring, apparently during spring and summer, you can swim in the lake, which is full of fabulous minerals. Um, we're, I don't think we'll be doing the swimming thing, but we have got our beach shoes. I certainly won't be swimming. <laughs> Let's get there. <laughs> Hopefully she can get us back onto the D635, which is the main road that we were meant to be going on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, seen part of Turkey we haven't seen before. I so think, I think all of these little roads eventually meet a big road. They do. So yeah. she's just taking us through the yeah. back streets. Ooh. Turn left. Turn yeah. left. Well okay. that's my only choice. Oh well, that's good. That sign to Limira is good because I think the sign on the D635 was for Limira. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In four and a half kilometers turn right. Onto the D635. Yay! <laughs> it's really amazing. You're just driving through what is basically farmland, and all of a sudden, there's an ancient site. Yeah. Just, just there. Yeah. And you think, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, look at this. Oh, it's an amphitheatre. Oh wow! Bloody oh, hell! Wow. wow. <laughs> you know, just, just there. Just there in the farmer's field. Yeah. Only they just get on with their crops. I suppose maybe that was always a farmer's field, and <laughs> even when this was a big city or big town. Yeah. Wow. And because it's just everywhere, the Turks just like, oh yeah. It, yeah, take it for granted, I suppose. It's over there. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, you know, when we lived in the UK and things were several hundred years old and more. You know, we took it for granted, didn't we? Um, yeah. But now this is, I mean, these, you know, these, several thousand these, years yeah, old. exactly. So you can sort of understand if you've just grown up with it. Look at these lovely old buildings.
All oh, right. D635. Continue en route. Thank you, missus. Okay. Let's go. Let's have a look and see what they're selling. Oranges. Oh, there's citrus. There's always oranges. Citrus. Hey, you know that white sand? Yeah. I wonder if it's snow. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Quite a few of you have been asking about how the um, inflation is impacting things and one of the main things um, that's, that's a big noticeable uh, difference is the price of fuel. Uh, fuel has tripled in price. Uh, when we were out and about last summer, I think it was something like um, 8 lira to the litre. Uh, well, it's now uh, 24, 25 lira for a litre, so triple the price for fuel. And I know that's happening all over the world, and, um, but yeah, it's just happening here too. Interesting times. Uh, there's the cardboard cops. <laughs> cardboard police car, look. Slow down. Slow down. Far from the snow line now. Yeah. Really climbing. <laughs> Street dogs. <laughs> Get everywhere, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Camp at wherever they want to, yeah. don't they? This is not the lake we're looking for. <laughs> right on. So what's this then? Um it's another lake. Have we driven past here? Yeah before? we yeah we have, yeah. Okay. Now there's little islands and got trees on them. Yeah. I wonder if this is a dam, like whether it was, you know, originally uh, a valley or something. I don't know. Just at the top of the world. <laughs> to see such a big town. Yeah. So we're just leaving Gurk Pinar. It's like great finds. It's, it's, it's almost like... It's like being on another planet. Another planet, yeah. I was just about to say that, yeah. Um, it's just vast. And every now and then you see little pockets of humanity and, and farming and stuff. But... Uh, Immense. There's a little lake down there. That's not the one we're going to oh, either. Yeah. No. You see these here? These are snow markers. Is that, is that a solar farm? Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. Solar farm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's huge actually. Massive. So we reckon that's um, marble. Yeah, it's cutting it out in big square blocks. Yeah. And you often see it on the um, flatbed trucks, just big, big square blocks of marble getting trucked around. Yeah. Well, it's a big operation. It certainly is. And we've just passed another three on the other side. Yeah. It's so plentiful, it's no wonder that they use it in lots of the buildings, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Watch out for the wild boar. Oh, yeah. Oh, here it is, Baz. This is the lake we're looking for. We found it. <laughs> the little lady in the box got us there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Turn turtles. <laughs> oh, that's a big... Hang on. Six. Not swimming weather, he's put a big thick jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, isn't that amazing? Oh, and we've arrived at one of the beaches. 
is at this time of year, it doesn't matter where you park. No, I'll park by this nice little tree here. Well, that was an interesting drive, wasn't it? Was. We have arrived at the lake, and before we get into any details about it, we'd just like to welcome on board a couple of new patrons. Yes, Mickey Gabe. Yep, and uh, Gunter. Welcome aboard. Yes, it's lovely to have you with us. Thanks, Thanks. for joining. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So this lake, um, three and a half, no, three hour drive. Yes. Give or take, depending from on Finike. how fast you go from Finike. Um, quite high altitude. Mm. And I'll just uh, show you this thing behind us. So this is basically, uh, we are here. And then that's the uh, shape of the lake. And uh, it was formed in the Pleistocene Pleist 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 Epoch. Pleistocene Epoch, yeah, 2.5 million years ago. It uh, wasn't actually an impact crater like we said earlier, it's actually just changes in the Earth's crust. Right. Um, tectonic lake. And there's no outflow of lake water to any other water bodies. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the third deepest lake in Turkey with 184 metres. Cool. And the turquoise lake comes from white rocks on the floor of the lake named stromatolites and these are being formed still by bacteria. Oh yeah. Well fancy that. Oh! Investigation showed that it's one of two places on earth that have properties, magnesium loaded white rocks, of the surface of the planet Mars. Wow. The fish species that only lives in lake in the lake is uh, a salda killifish? an endemic species to the lake, and a birder spring minnow. Wow, and they only live in this lake. Aww. How cool is that? Yeah, and in the old days, they lived in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. well, let's um, take a look at the lake yeah. up close, and also we'll get the, um, the drone out, yep. and uh, have a look at it from above. It's a bit blowy, but yes. I reckon the drone can take it. Still early in the season, there's only yes. one other car parked here. Uh, the restaurants aren't open, and there's just this one guy flogging uh, souvenirs. Yes. So cold. <laughs> it is chilly, isn't it? Yeah. What does it say? In spring and summer, you can swim in the lake. Yeah. Maybe not today. Mind you, we're so high up, like this is the top of the mountains. Yeah. Here's something to ponder. Like this, this fish that lives in this lake only lives in this lake. How did it get there? How did it get there in the first place? Okay. <laughs> it's just such a beautiful colour, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm colour coded today. I've got my turquoise and my turquoise. <laughs> Unintentionally, by the way. Soft and sinky. Right. Well, if you go then, <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> Braver than I am. See how easily it crumbles? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not, maybe it's a different type. I don't know. Because it looks different when you crumble it. Yeah, no, this is crumbly, look. Oh, right. Yeah, so there you go. Hmm. 
Well, the lady in the sat-nav um, has given us a, a route back to Finike, and it's only two hours and 22 minutes. So she says. So she says. It's downhill, that's what it is. That's what it is, yeah. Um, but we've just, because along, along the way um, she was sending us, we, we noticed that this place had uh, tables all laid out, and um, we thought, well, okay, well, we'll stop here for lunch because it's just after two o'clock now, and we are pretty hungry. Um, and they're, they're waiting for a coach or a bus. Well, it's just a ride. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, which is good, because yeah, so, it means they've got the barbecue on. Yeah, so, probably the first people of the season. All right, this is lunch. Yes, it smells fantastic. All been cooked on the barbecue. All right, dig in. Well, that was the stuff that stories are made of. <laughs> so we got to this lovely little restaurant that we've just been to. In six and, and a half kilometres, turn left. Yes, lovely. And um, they very kindly fed us along with the uh, group of people that came in a coach, tourists. And so we had a three course meal, didn't we? Yeah. So we chomped our way through this really delicious food. Can I highly recommend the place? And um, went to pay, and of course their, their credit card machine's not working, and they were trying to get it to work while we were there. Yeah. So we got the cash out, and we only had 150 lira between us, because we haven't been to the bank yet. Well, um, and the bill was 250 lira. So, <laughs> so we're going. We can't transfer money because we've got a an Australian bank account and this was a Turkish bank account and it was like, oh, in the end, um, I rang our friend Hakan, thank you Hakan, and um, asked him if he could transfer some money and we'd pay him when we, when we go to cash. So that wasn't working, it wasn't coming through, so Baz found out where the nearest town was, which was 20 kilometres away, and shot off to find the bank to get some money to come back and pay. And I stayed there as surety. <laughs> and about five minutes after Barry had left, the lady came out and she said, Hakan's money has come through. You can phone your husband now. And I went, well, he doesn't have a phone. <laughs> so I had to just wait for Baz. Baz had to go through the whole process. Um, that was so funny though. And But they very kindly, they gave me a coffee to, while I was waiting. and. Yeah, so how did you find the whole getting money out of a bank experience? Well, first of all, she's talking to me because she's still programmed to get back to Finnecay. Right. She's telling me to go this way, that way. Right. Um, luckily, her directions took me to a big-ish town. Yes. And I drove up the, what I th think was the main street, uh, but I couldn't see a bank anywhere. So I drove back down to the street because I didn't want to lose my bearings to get back to here. Mm. Um, and I went into a garage. Of course, nobody speaks any English. So I got my card out. And you didn't have the phone to no, Google Translate? Translate no. Yeah. Um, so I got my credit card out. I said, bank? <laughs> Cash? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so the old bloke came out and he went, yeah, up there, then just over there. And luckily, uh, I spotted it. Uh, it was a, just a standalone ATM, wow. and luckily it was the Halk Bank. Oh wow! Which, what were the chances of that? <laughs> which um, that's that we don't pay any fees to. Awesome. So you yeah, know, I got 500 lira out, Good. so we've got some cash now. Good. Anyway, it's now. Uh, what time oh, is it? It must be half past four. Twenty past four. Yeah. Uh, we've got two hours twenty two minutes. Ooh. Anyway, let's give you the last. Oh, ooh, let's give you some last shots of this beautiful lake. Look at this. Everywhere's got a sort of metallic green kind of shade at the top of these mountains. It's quite fascinating. See, that's the track we were talking about, the marble on the back. Rejected. Before we go, we'd like to welcome our newest patrons, Gail Jones and Swanee. Thank you so much for joining our Patreon family, you two. It's lovely to have you aboard. 
We also want to give a huge shout out to our new YouTube club members, Grez, OMT, Richard and Leonard. Thanks for joining our club, you guys. If you want to know more about that, look at the little join button and uh, you can find out all about supporting us that way if you don't want to support us via Patreon. Join us next week as we go somewhere else exciting in Turkey. Today we're off to somewhere. <laughs> Telmos. Telmesos. Telmesos. Tel 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 I've typed it in. I've typed it into the sat now. And also we have a look at a life raft that's being deployed so you can see how it all works and how to get in and out of it and what to do when you're at sea if you need to use one. See you next time on Sailing ABC.